Vice Vendere de Fringe no Record. Muito mais dar os parabéns por, por esta vitória. Good evening, congratulations on the win. Well, we're used to having to work with the calculator. We didn't have to after the group stage, but today was was hard. How how did you make it through it, and how's the uh, how's the locker room? Well, I'm very proud of tonight. I loved our performance. Slovenia. Well, I think yesterday we said that games now they hinge on details. And it's this is the size. Of, if a team doesn't score, then it gets very hard. It was challenging for us, but I we needed to show that the, the team can suffer through this. That we never throw in the towel, and I think we deserve to win in the 90 minutes. But I think Slovenia played a great game. And I really liked the strength and the concentration and the belief. And I know that the Portuguese people love our national team. Now we just have to look ahead. We have the quarterfinals against France. This hinged on details, but I think this gives us even more strength than winning a game by two or three goals. Hi, see you again. Um, we saw at the end you going up to Cristiano and hugging him and holding him. We saw how much emotion he had after missing and then taking the penalty. Can you explain what he means to you as a group and, and how you might have to sometimes work with him to make him feel more confident and happy despite everything he's done in the past because he carries that burden on his shoulders, doesn't he? Well, um, first, first and foremost, I think he's a constant example for us. Um, when you see a player, the only player, let's say, that has ever played six European championships and he's got, he's got that responsibility, that desire, that belief as a young man, um, those emotions are incredible for someone that has won everything and has experienced everything. He doesn't need to care that much. And that's why I thank him for, for being the way he is, for caring for the group, for being someone that after missing a penalty, which only the penalty takers can miss penalties, and you have to give credit to the, to the goalkeeper, he was the first penalty taker. Um, I knew, I was certain that he had to be the first goal uh, penalty taker and show us the way to the victory. And I think we all, very, very proud of our captain. The dressing room was delighted with what he's done. And I think he gave us all a, a lesson that you need to live every day as the last one. You need to have real high standards and never give up. Life and football gives you difficult moments. And the way he reacted is a real example that we are very proud in, in, in Portuguese football. You're on the left. Olá, Roberto. Olá. João Pai vem direto para a CNN de Portugal. Gostava que nos falasse um bocadinho sobre as substituições, especialmente ali nos 90 minutos. Could you tell us a little about the subs at 90 minutes? You took off Vitinha and then Francisco Conceição playing somewhere we're not used to seeing him. Can you tell us a little about that? I think the pitch, the pitch, it, it wasn't good. It doesn't help the team who plays on the ball. But I'm not saying that it's bad for Portugal and good for Slovenia. No, 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 it's, it's a slow pitch. It's a very unstable pitch. And Slovenia suffered on the ball the same way we did. I think the inside game with Vitinha and Bruno couldn't work. We needed to run risks. We needed to have... If we played an inside game, we'd be favoring Slovenia. But I wanted the game to be played wider, and uh, Chico could do that. And I, for that, I had to take Vitinha off. And we tried to run the risk with players in the box, like Jota. Jota, he got, he got fouled in the box. 
The underlying idea was to have Ruben Neves on the pitch because he's a good penalty shooter and we wanted to use the energy that Nelson Semedo could bring. And now, in hindsight, it was a good decision to, to change eight players in the game against Georgia. You've said that you are proud about tonight, but I tell you the millions of Portuguese that were watching suffered a lot, so suffering is another key word. What can you tell the Portuguese people before the game against France? I can tell you that the locker room knows how to suffer. The team knows, is very united, we're very resilient. We know we have amazing players. Individual talent is on display for everyone to see. But today we had a number of players who give it their all for the national team. Talent is part of it, but if you want to win, you need more. And we showed we have that in spades. We are very passionate and the fans can be very proud. It was tough, but winning teams know how to weather the storms. And now we need to, to keep doing what we're doing and making the best of the talent. Question in German. Could you say something about Joao Palinha? And do you think whether he's good enough to come to Bayern Munich? <laughs> I, I I loved the performance of Joao Palinha. I must admit, I think the the performance that he had, he was essential in the type of game. You know, Slovenia had very quick counterattacks, the speed of Cesco, his porter, and then the second balls, and he was exceptional. He's not just good enough for Bayern. I think he would improve Bayern. I think he's someone that he he makes the other players around him better. He's in the best moment of his career after winning uh, a lot of things in, in Portugal. Then he goes to, to the Premier League and he had the perfect, the perfect performances. Um, he deserves whatever comes his way, but I think the performance today speaks louder than whatever I can say. I can speak about the man, which is even bigger than the performance that you saw today. Here on the Hello. Hello. Roberto Martinez aqui, Luís Garopa da Agência Olá. Lusa. Parabéns pela, pela vitória e pelo apoiamento. Congratulations on winning. This was a very emotion-filled night. The, the suffering. There was a lot of parting, but you will be playing France in three days. How do you deal with this? How do you work? We, there was 120 minutes all this exhaustion and France is coming in four days. We're ready for that. We, during the group stage, all the players physically man, managed to get some minutes in. So I think all players are ready to come on at any moment. And as head coach, that's what we want. We don't want days off. We want to be here. Now we're focused in, focused on France. This is a historic team for Portuguese and for the national team. 2016 will always be a key moment. And now we need to we'll have games like Spain, Germany, England, Switzerland, Portugal, France. This Euros is red hot. And three days is enough to get ready for the next game. Looking ahead at the game against France, Portugal has had some trouble when you play teams like tonight, that you need patience, and you play inside, outside, the wings, etc. But it's all this stuff. France is very strong, and things tend to get harder. But defensively, or on the attack, maybe there's more space behind the lines. 
So this is a stronger opponent and they can cause more issues. But is it a better opponent because you'll have more chances? Well, it's, some teams play like possession, others that play deep. I think Slovenia played very well. They, they have a lot of, they're very synchronized, but I think we played a good game. It was tough going today. The pitch was very slow. But we had 20 attacks, 11 corners, three players in their back line were carded, yellow carded, we, we didn't score a penalty kick. So Slovenia is very strong. They they were one on Chesco was one on one against the Costa and he was amazing. But I don't think it was a bad game. Games are tough. L look at England against Slovakia. And look Switzerland against Italy. There are no easy games. But generally speaking, France defends very well. They also have very good attacking players and we need, we need to defend our final third. But I'm very pleased with what we've done today. But, uh, another question on today's game. When Slovenia is defending so low with their block, do you, do you feel your game gets too predictable with all those crosses inside the box towards Ronaldo? No, predictable because we didn't score. Um, if we score early in the first 20 minutes, the game opens and I think you need to give credit to Slovenia. Slovenia defended well when we break, broke the final line or black made fantastic interventions. The penalty is an action that it happens, but I think we had, we had uh, a few good opportunities. Mm, we have to accept what it was the pitch. Um, it was a pitch that it helped the defensive team. It helped us when we didn't have the ball. Uh, in another pitch, maybe Sporar and Cesco better, better use the spaces better. Um, I think today we created chances. We didn't take them, but we never accepted defeat. I've seen many, many the games that what happens is that the team that is out of possession, that is holding on. He gets to the 90 minutes and then he gets to the extra time and then you accept defeat, it's not your day, you get emotional, you get a red card, you made a big mistakes and, and then you don't, don't focus on the penalties. We won the penalties, uh, our co keeper saved three on a trot. The strength, the mental strength of the group was fantastic. For me, there are many, many things that allowed us to deserve the victory. We want to improve, certainly. We always want to improve, we're gonna get better. But I'm, I'm extremely proud we are in the, in the quarterfinals. And the last question. Hello, uh, David Alvarez from El País. Hello. I'd like to ask you about those three penalties. Uh, how do you prepare him for that? Um, also considering uh, in his last shootout against mm. Arsenal, he didn't stop any. What's the big change between those two moments? Thank you. Uh, for contestar in, in Portuguese, I think que... O Diogo Costa, uh, I will answer in Portuguese. Incredible. Diogo Costa is on form. I think his experience against Arsenal was very important. I think Diogo today went with his gut, went with his feeling, and he grew a lot. He's an amazing goalkeeper. He's a very well kept secret in Portuguese football. I've worked with a lot of good goalkeepers and he's up there with the best. Now answering your question, I think the, his maturity and his experience Thank you means you. that we now get to benefit from his performances. Thank you, everyone. Tomorrow we travel to Marienfeld, and tomorrow there is no media agenda. See you tomorrow.